Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Paul. Welcome back to A Common Touch of Fantasy. It is September the 9th. It is a Saturday, and I'm a little bit late making this video, just because. Uh, let's get right to it. Uh, short stories that I've read yesterday from Uncanny. Number 18, uh, Fandom for Robots by Vina J. Min Prasad. Ah, fun story. You know, it was about a uh, robot, an AI that's watching an anime with the robot, with AI, and the current day robot ends up writing fan fiction and makes a friend online writing fan fiction about the robot in this TV show. And it was a fun story. I liked it. It was, it was just a fun, fun story. Um, at uh, Coney's by Delia Sherman. Uh, this one was a little bit more serious. It was like a time travel story about a girl from the 60s that actually travels back to like the 20s, I think. And the differences in the way that gender and um, lesbians and things of that nature are perceived in both generations. And in a way, it was better back in the 20s when she went back because people just kind of, you know, accepted that, oh, you know, she dresses like a guy or, you know, he dresses like a woman. But then in the 60s, it was more like out in the open. But at the same time, it got more criticism from people. It's, it was very odd. Uh way to look at things and I thought it was it was decent it was a decent story I liked it I thought it had a lot of heart to it and because of the theme because of the point of the story about this uh, girl accepting who she is and her sexual preference I thought it was a, an important story too it was good I liked it um, for Monday the rest of Uncanny Magazine so there's a few more stories left for me to read and then all of the essays. So looking forward to finishing this up uh, for Monday. Uh, comic books. I read Misfit City number four. And um, this is from Boom. And I've talked about Misfit City before. If you like Lumberjanes, you probably will like this. It's a ragtag group of female characters and they're trying to find um, where the treasure is being buried on this uh, place uh, someone died recently and he left a chest and they found it and they found a treasure map in it and so now they're kind of like looking around for actual treasure and in this issue here there's also like this big um, like local carnival and some of the girls are playing in the carnival and they're playing like this death metal music and people are like what is going on uh it's a fun comic i've been enjoying it and i'll be continuing to read misfit city it's just fun it's light and it has um great body types with all the girls like they all look really different and uh i like that the only thing about this that i don't like is the male characters even look female and I'm sometimes I'm not sure if some of the characters are girls or guys I mean I guess it's not that important but I don't know but the art's pretty cool but all the characters kind of have the same nose and eyes a little bit and lips it looks like everyone has a lipstick on so that's why I'm a little bit confused about not everything anything <laughs> Uh, and the second story we have is Rose number five by Meredith Finch, and this is continuing another series from Image. And um, this is fun. You know, I really like the art in this comic. The story is pretty basic. Girl has powers. Girl has powers with a panther. She is trying to find her panther buddy to have powers together. There is an evil queen. That wants to get rid of magic and be the most powerful person in the world. And, um, you know, the girl in the panther has to stop her. There's some other characters in there. Overall, I'm enjoying this comic. It's fun. And uh, I'll be conti continuing to get it. Uh, this weekend, I am hopefully going to read the rest of Uncanny. 
And then read actually four comic books. We have Kill or Be Killed, number 11. Looking forward to that. I think that's the start of a new arc. Uh, Green Arrow, number 29. Looking forward to this when Green Arrow's in Gotham. Green Arrow and Bruce together is always great. <laughs> uh, Detective Comics, 962. Um, awesome cover. The Intelligence arc is almost over. And then the next issue of this, this arc here of Descender. Uh, of the rise of the robots looking forward to reading that I'm actually getting kind of low on my stack of comics that I have for my backlog and that's so great but I do have to get two weeks worth of comics next week so I'll probably be able to you know have some more pretty soon but this is all I have right now of backlog that's it I've been I'm doing so good there's there's like one two five nine plus those four. 13 so i might just read those <laughs> i don't know we'll see what happens i hope to read uh more of uh heir of navron because i am not reading it at all you know last night i was just struggling um back was bothering me i was just wiped out from the week and i just watched television most of the night i mean i read my short stories but i, I watched television and i just chilled sometimes you just have to do that uh if you have any questions for me Put them in the comments below. I might start doing like an editorial thing on one of the days of the week. Like talking about a specific controversial topic in the science fantasy uh, community. So we'll see. Um, yeah. I don't know. If you have something to ask, put it in the comments. If you have something to, to suggest that I read, put it in the comments too. I'll talk to you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend.